Hey, Bart Miller here with Cycling Strong, 2013 Interbike, and we're having a great time. We stopped by to talk to the sock guys, and they had some really awesome socks. But one thing that we learned is all socks are not created equal. So we're going to talk a little bit about what makes a great sock and what doesn't make a great sock. So, can you help us with that? Yeah, I can help Sock you. guy? All right, Bart, let's do this. Let's do it. Right. Bring it. Uh, sock guy, we've been around for about 18 years. Uh, we bring two things together. Okay. Uh, performance Feet and, and personality. Well, that too. <laughs> Your feet are important just, inside just the socks. <laughs> yeah. But really, everyone, a lot of people out there make great socks, yeah. plain black and white socks. We bring yeah. personality to the table. Yeah. So whether the socks look cool or yeah. fun, uh, they all have to perform. Right. Sock guy uses nothing but premium performance wicking materials, whether it be a micro acrylic, which is your cool max fiber, a, pro a polypropylene, or merino wool blend. Okay. All the socks perform. Yeah. All right. Um, that's it. What else do you want to know about the socks? Well, I mean, we talk about all these different types of, you know, this kind of fiber, that kind of fiber. I mean, what does that really mean? I mean, what, what are we doing? Why are we wearing a sock? What's it doing for us? Well, like, think back way back to the 80s. Everyone's yeah. wearing cotton socks. My feet socks. stink. All right, I mean, you know? Way back in the day, yeah, yeah. Cotton socks, they can smell bad. They absorb yeah. moisture. Yeah. And they create friction, which ultimately leads to blisters. Yeah. Uh, when you use a wicking fiber, it pulls the moisture away from your foot, helps keep your foot nice and dry, okay. and reduces friction. Okay. And that's the whole point of a wicking fiber. Right. Whether it be your microtenure acrylic, whether it be a, a performance material like polypropylene yeah. that we use in our uh, SGX socks, yeah. or whether it be our turbo wool, which yeah. is a blend of merino wool as well as uh, polypropylene. Right. It's a 50-50 blend, in fact. Our wool socks are some of my favorite, and that's what you're holding in your hand right now. Ta-da! Uh, this is one of the socks we make. It's uh, the Sriracha Sock Socks. Uh, Sockeye was the first company to get a license with that company earlier this summer. Uh, the socks have been wildly uh, popular with both our dealers and consumers at the same time. All right, so I want to talk a little bit about the socks that I, I mean, I've used a lot, obviously, in the years I've been riding bikes and racing and stuff like that. One thing you really do have to pay attention to is the friction and a really good sock and the fit of a sock. When you go in to get your socks, make sure you're not buying a size 11 when you're a size 7. Or if somebody just hands you a pair of socks, you go throw them on, and you just go do your race in that. Not a good idea. Make sure the sock fits and make sure it really is uh, it's good in your shoe. I don't know how to say that any better, you know, uh, how to describe well, another, that any better, Another one of the features of Sock Guy socks are stretch to fit sizing system. Yeah. Our socks hold to your foot and they conform to the natural contours of your foot. So it doesn't leave any material bagging off or you know, to leave, uh, you know, like hanging off the side of your foot. Exactly. And when the sock folds over, it's going to create a friction spot and it can also lead to blisters. Yeah. So our socks, they hold your foot, hold to your foot without being too tight. Yeah. So they're nice and comfortable inside your shoe. Yeah. The other thing I want you to consider is the thickness of the sock. Your socks, there are certain socks that are a little thicker than other socks, you'll notice that. Make sure the thickness of the sock is appropriate to what you need in your shoe, because if it's too full and your shoe's too tight, it's gonna cause you a problem with your feet going to sleep. So, it's another thing I want you to make sure you're thinking yeah, about. Yeah, that's an important uh, an important point, Bart. Yeah. Uh, we have a number of different socks for a number of different applications. Whether you're an elite athlete on yeah. your bike, which you're gonna be going for our SGX sock, uh -huh. or whether you're uh, an elite runner, in which case our Channel Air sock. It's yeah. our mid-weight padded running sock. Yeah. It's got plush cherry padding from the heel to toe, nice. mixed with channels of mesh along the foot bottom. Yeah. So it gives you a little extra cushion, yeah. uh, but also helps keep your, your foot cool and dry at the same yeah. time. Yeah, well that's really good. So I think we've had a pretty good overall here. I want to walk through, we're going to walk in here just a little bit. It's going to get a little dark. I want to show you what I really like the most about these guys. Creativity and the fun that they have with their socks. It's not just a sock anymore. It has a little bit of character to it. The other thing, the first time I tried these socks, which is why I wanted to talk to them, was at Leadville. You guys know I'm going back to Leadville to crush Leadville 100 again next year. And uh, they make the Leadville socks, so that brought a little bit of clout to them. So uh, we stopped by to just do this quick interview. So let's walk in, let's take a look at some of their socks. Yeah. I'm here. I'm Ken here. is coming. <laughs> Show some of your socks. Show some of the character, the, the different people you've teamed up with, like really, this company. A lot of people know about so a sock guy from what I call the beer mugs and butterflies. All right, this is really the niche that sock guy has carved out. Uh, we have a number of great designs. Whether they're cute or cool, it allows the individual to express themselves as an individual. Um, we've pretty much found that if you put uh, beer mugs and butterflies on something, it's yeah, going to sell. That sells. Yeah, that's all there is to it. Yeah. Did you hear that? All you marketing people out there, that's all you need. Get that's on the, it. That's the key. Beer. That's the key. Beer. beer and alcohol. Yeah. And there's a lot of that here. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. So, any other socks you want to feature or show? My favorite, popcorn. I love popcorn. All of you know one of my favorite foods, dill pickles and popcorn. I could live on life just on those two things. Love them. There you go. Yeah. So there you go. Good sock. So if I want to find your product, where do I go? Uh, you can find our socks at all better bike shops throughout the country. We're also distributed throughout 19 to, uh, 
different countries throughout the world. Okay. Um, uh, our socks are popular with event promoters. Yep. Uh, about half of our business comes from custom socks. Cool. Uh, like working with the rock and roll marathons of the world. Yeah. yeah. So if I want to do a custom sock, just get on your website, get with you guys, design it, that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's really easy. All you got to do is email us info at sockguy.com. Send us your logo. We'll uh, work up an art proof for you within yeah. 24 hours. Nice. And have socks on your doorstep in a few weeks. Woohoo! Yeah. Sounds pretty dang easy to me. So. I want to thank these guys so much for taking time out of their day. I know Interbike's extremely busy for them to do this interview with us. And uh, if you have any questions, make sure you post them below. We're going to give them a link to this actual video so they can answer those questions for you and help you have the right socks for your racing events and all the activities you're doing out there. Thanks for watching this segment. Most importantly, keep cycling strong.